how to create buzz with social media. Hey, listen, it's Yolanda at Dryer Buzz and, of course, 27answers.com. And that's where you should be if you need to open another window, grab another device. You should go to 27answers.com because in all of my years of blogging and, and social media and so forth and answering the question that one question I get each and every day the answers are already there so no need to take notes just go and download download in case even if you're missing a couple of the podcasts some of the most popular ones if you'd like to own those podcasts uh because they got great answers in there you can download them also at 27 answers download if you're if you're not following on YouTube Spotify social media you know listen Listen, brands, listen. One of the reasons why I want to dial it back. Now, I want to dial it back, not necessarily going back to square one, but I want to talk about this because no matter where I go, finally, social media plays a part. And at the same time, I'm still seeing a very strong sense of anxiety from those who are now and always realize it. Somebody will realize it tomorrow that social media is really here to stay. It's really a part of our lives. The platforms may change. One platform may become a little bit more trending or popular than others. And then there are some that have just really become a utility in our lives, meaning just like, or even before we turn on our lights and our water and all those kind of things, we make sure that we have an internet connection. We go through that withdrawal when somebody says, you know, put your phone away or or log off. Um, but it's really become part of our lives. But now I want to talk about, as we always do, using social media for a business. The number one anxiety that I get, that I see from those who come to me wanting to know how to use social media for their businesses, they always still think it's about them pushing out content and creating content. What you need to understand, and many have heard me say this a million times, that the internet was created for two reasons, and that's data and dollars. If those of you who say tomato, tomato, data and dollars, okay? Data, data. It's about extracting information. So, yes, you should have, you know, your menu out there. You should use a particular platform to communicate with customers, establish a relationship with customers, ongoing, turning customers into lifetime customers. But at the same time, you should make time to use social media to extract information, drill down the information, especially if you have a brick and mortar or you um, um, serve a local community or hyper local or, or a particular segment of society and those kinds of things because what used to be unavailable to you depending on what type of industry you were in was the data you used to have to wait for two to five to ten years for a particular data you used to try used to have to build your business and function on information that was two five ten if not twenty years old today we have something called real-time data real-time data and that means you could literally like sit and watch customers as they um, navigate the internet looking for your service or your product or particularly engaging with your industry. If I wanted to know back in the day what to blog about that day, I would literally, my mornings would consist of listening to a variety of radio morning shows because radio morning shows would drive people to search engines to find out more. So if a particular topic was hot on this morning show or that morning show, I would then follow up with substantially more information than they could ever put out on radio. If there was a hot event, I would follow up with X amount of photos and those types of things. So I was able to use real-time information to, to drive traffic to my blog or website because I would follow up, follow behind the morning shows. So that's, that's what you want to do when we talk about it halfway through this, using social media for business. You need to, whether you're going to do it each day by the day, beginning of day because you know we always talk about the end of day end of week end of month the beginning of the day the beginning of the week the beginning of the month like say for instance this is the first day of my week i don't know what day you're listening i don't even know what year you're going to listen to this i'll have that real-time information after i post it but i can start at 
like posting this one, I'm like, okay, I need to talk about, I need to talk, this is, should be my topic. It's my topic because of, not because of what society did two years ago, but what we just did today, this morning, I was able to sit back and watch the real-time information, how people engaged over the weekend, uh, events that were happening. How did they use social media? How did they deploy different strategies and different tactics and so forth? And that let me know, oh, you know what, I need to spend a week talking about how to use social media for business for extracting information from social media you know yes i told you you need to be what oh what do we say open dealing and getting it done but at the same time you need to be extracting information what particular to your industry somebody that you want to become your lifetime customer you can literally visualize that person you can go to these social media platforms and find those people that's what these platforms are doing is is uh congregating these audiences for you to find those audiences and then extract customers from those various audiences on um, particularly in your industry which what's the number one platform for your industry for your customer, by, by age group, by demographic, what platform are they on? If you don't know, go over to our YouTube channel where when the when the social media report came out for this year, we, we did a deep dive and let you know what platform particular industries can succeed on. If you're using social media for business based on your industry, we told you what platform you need to be on. It may be Facebook. It might be Twitter. It could be one of the live streaming. You know, and one of the things we did not see in the reports, they did not do a deep dive and talk particularly about live streaming. You know, people now watch radio, okay? They don't listen to it and, you know, yeah, they might turn it on their cars and so forth, but radio is something we've said 10 years ago, 20 years ago. Radio has to become television. Newspapers have to become radio. That's why podcasting is so hot right now. Podcasting is born out of print. Because you begin to take that print, put audio to it. For those who didn't have time to read, they then would then listen. And now it podcasts, and then it became, they could then in fully engage with the podcast. So for just like this, I'm doing this as a podcast. I could go in long form, write this. I could go and do a video. But I know for your convenience, you don't have time to have your eyes on the screen. You can't ride down the road with your eyes on the screen, but you will have time to listen. You have time to stop and, and listen. But I want you as a business user of social media to stop and start extracting, extracting data, uh, data in real time based on your energy your industry so as a part two and probably a part three maybe even a part four we're going to stay right here and talk about what you need to look for in extracting the data yes you need to push out content yes you need to let people know that you're open what your deal is and close that deal get her done but at the same time as we get ready to wrap up here you need to extract that information want to know when when do you post your open sign what your deal ought to be how to really get it done that comes from the data and that data is available to you in real time in social media some of that information is already out there if you go to like i said dryerbus.com which is going to drive you right to our youtube channel click on the playlist for 27 answers and you can go ahead and get a head start do some homework so when we talk about this in the podcast you'll be right there aligned with where we're going with this all right so we're going to kind of dial it back we're going to talk about how to create buzz with social media by extracting real-time information so that you can be as successful as you have ever dreamed. All right, you know me, I'm Yolanda at Dryer Buzz, but this is the one place where I stop for a good nine minutes, nine minutes, and reiterate to you how to create buzz. You need more answers? Go to 27answers.com and simply filter the entire internet. Whatever your favorite platform is, use the hashtag 27answers.